In a statement that was released by a popular Muslim cleric who is based in Kaduna State, Sheikh Gumi Ahmad, he made it known that bandits have devised means to escape area bombardments being carried out by men of the Nigeria Air Force. According to what Gumi said, he made it known that bandits have devised means to escape bomb attacks, but just that their children and wives are being killed whenever there is a strike on their base. He further said that if Zamfara State is on fire, bandits will be forced to migrate to other places that are not targeted by Nigeria Air Force. And taking a look at what he said, Gumi stated statement might serve as an eye opener for bandits. Most of the bandits might never have thought of leaving their original base for once because of military airstrikes, but with what Gumi said, they might start moving from one place to the other, of which secured places will be their target which probably might be the southern region of course the people from igbo say town now they have come out to say and uh, some yoruba groups have said said this man is trying to relocate this uh, fleeing bandits to the southern part of the country and that was why he quickly came because i don't even see the synergy or the correlation why or what could have made him to have come because even when igbo the whole area was on fire by these bandits whatever this man did not come if really is a peacemaker why did he not go at that time but now we can see that everyone is at a lot now because even the uh, operation of this uh, fulani s men that have been going about making a lot of you know causing a lot of mayhem it has reduced to a very large extent because we are not hearing hearing such things maybe there could be isolation isolated cases but the way it used to happen then every now and then it has reduced so why will he now go now and that's why they are saying is move to that place going to that place is suspicious it's really suspicious so and that is the fact honestly that is the fact he said it he said they came to see him as what i don't understand why is it that it's only gumi that they have been able to recognize as a cleric because some people might want to argue it from the angle of a oh because he say this he say that and don't forget, we have been hearing a lot of information concerning what happened to him in Saudi Arabia. And some of their colleagues or their supporters will come and be defending what is not. But that is the in thing. The bad things are being covered. Even now, they are not even being covered. They are just there. That They will tell you that everyone will not fall. You know, you know. And what are you going to do? You are not going to do anything about it. Because this man has a track record of having relationship with all these uh, terrorists. They will still come out and defend it. And I'm sure... That with the way it's going, let us keep our finger crossed and see what we come out at the end of the day. It's very, very unfortunate that this kind of a thing is still going on. And Buhari is still priding himself as doing the right thing. Doing the right thing. So my question is that why is it that other clerics are not being approached to do this uh, job for them? Why is it that it is Gumi? And he is doing it with passion. Gumi does not have passion for the victims of all these uh, the victims that were who are affected victim of, of of all these bandits he does not have he doesn't talk about them but it is only these people and i'm asking my i'm asking the question why is it that everyone is complaining about what is going on with the situation of things in this country so why will it be that it is only these people that think that they are more affected so for him to have gone to the southern part of the country especially on your states and he just when they say oh i don't understand I can't get it. And the people from that region must stand on their feet and see this guy say, take note of what he's about to do. Of course, they have said he's trying to relocate these bandits to the north, to the south, because they are fleeing. So the audacity and the, the, the free hand they have in communicating with Gumi is what everybody is worried about and buari is not doing anything let's call it spade a spade buari is not doing anything about it and you see that is why you see all this uh, especially the south is they are trying to be diplomatic they are trying to choose their words they are trying to not to say what was so heavy because before you know it dss will arrest them they will begin to they will frame them up but this man is just going freely and saying uttering some kind of nonsense talks and they are not saying anything about it so, of course, it's worrisome because the bandits have come to tell him that, oh, forget them. We have other places and of which we can escape 
from the only their concern alone is their children and their wives they are telling him that so since they have told him then why is it that they cannot invite him and say oh we are not going to allow these people to go tell us what they told you gumi is one of those people that has been preaching against another religion someone need not to be told owing to his full support and love for the terrorist god will judge between him and the innocent souls his boys have killed the whole north is behind the insecurity in the region so don't just even bother yourselves gumi once uh, was not time okay wasn't no time or what bring your bandits to southern okay gumi don't waste time waste no time okay that's what this person is saying waste no time bring your bandits to southern part of nigeria we are watching and waiting for you we are your we are not afraid of full it igbo is not at home now but the likes of igbo are many are many and they are waiting for you he said he's a brain doctor i think his brain uh need be checked gumi himself is a tourist coordinator he has spoken indirectly for the bandits to relocate to other regions he came to southwest to create fear into the life of yoruba people in igbo town having known that yoruba are not always united when it comes to defending themselves and there and there must be betrayer in them gumi was very happy that some yoruba people team up with him to send igbo out of nigeria despite the fact that he has every right to visit any part of the country as stipulated by the constitution but that doesn't mean that he couldn't be challenged that he came to igbo town as spy no one could challenge him because they are timid your timidity doesn't mean you shouldn't support your son who is brave enough to challenge killers Fulani Esme. Instead of some of you supported Fulani to send him out of his father's land, Gumi came to Igbo town or southwest to mock you people. Despite the fact Nigerians and the whole world know that Fulani are bandits and are responsible for the unwanted killing ongoing in the country. But Gumi still supports them. He warned the military from killing bandits and federal government should create a ministry of s-men for them without any northerners against him or plan on how to deliver him to the authority for questioning are you saying buari is not aware of gumi's actions that's a good question are you are you saying buari is not aware they are working towards a common goal better known to them don't be surprised that one day you will wake up to see southwest besieged with bandits by that time you will talk Sunday Igbo is still suffering in Benin Republic without help from many notable Yoruba people, which never happened in the north. I trust them. <laughs>